In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a free Canva website. All right, so you can type this website up here in the search bar. But since it's here, I'll click it, scroll down, build your online presence. We have a website with a blank page, business website, portfolio website, event website, a bunch of them, education website, retail, bio, and service website. It's up to you. It depends on what your business is all about. I'll go with the business website. I'll click on it. This is the editor. But before I proceed, I'll go back, reload from the main page. And as you can tell, it's on name. This website is on name. I'm going to name it. Click on the pencil and name it. Let's say Blockstone Web. Click outside the box. Rent its name. When I go back here and reload, it says Blockstone Web. A quick tip i want to show you quickly on your left you have your templates and there are a whole bunch of them including pro templates this one for instance is free and is a pro version template if you're on the free version you can use this but you can use this one i'll show you the layout so i'll use the template but i will show you how the layout works let's say for instance if i click this and i need an image you can copy your image from wherever and paste it here but if you want element, you can go to the element. Let's say happy photo of a, a happy person. I'll take this lady for instance, and I'll drop her here. But if I want to add more pages, I'll click add page. And that's how it works, but I'll delete it because I don't want it. To change the title, you can double click to highlight and say happy smile. All right, and the list goes on. You can highlight and change everything. If you want to increase the font size, increase it to 16 or something. If you want to delete something, click on it and you delete it. And you can move this because this is a drag and drop feature. Move this up a bit and you can keep on like this. Let me close it and go back to the designs, but I'll undo everything. I will undo back to the blank template. And also, if you want styles, a bunch of them, try it. But there are styles right here that you can use. This, for instance, that you're going to change wherever you need to change. I don't want that. I'll go back to templates and there are a whole bunch of click on business and check what they have here. You just have to keep clicking on the arrow but it's done for instance i'll use something from the digital marketing template and i'll have her like i said earlier on this is a pro template i have a pro plan but for the sake of this tutorial i want to use the free version this one is free and it has eight pages which is a bit too much but it's, i'll use it click on it and if you want to use one let's say i'll click on this but if you want to use the entire thing undo then click apply all pages and it took a sec before it takes a while and it, it doesn't take long you see the beauty of it this is like a, a one page website thing with scrolls you can add whatever i'll show you how to edit it i don't want this benefit from our tried and tested solutions i will delete it i'll show you how to add a logo if you have a logo already copy and control v to paste it in windows and command v apple laptop or you can go to element let's say business and click down here these are pros i'll use this one click on it and push it down here up and i'll change the color to same blue which is by the way and if you want to add a test click the t click over here and move it over let's say i'll call it blocks Tom web and let me see if i put it across across let me push this down a bit if you want to add some effect click on effect scroll down like curve push it down and push it all up like this and i'll reduce the test and i'll push it down here this will be my logo i'll click on it and control and click again and shift press the shift button and click on the blocks down and let go then click group i can move both like that all right so i'll leave that as my logo or maybe reduce it see i can reduce the size at the same time all right and by the way this is a cloud base it saves by itself all right scroll down this i don't want it here grow your company i can reduce it and maybe put it here and this i will delete it this i will delete and maybe move it down here and if you want to change the font up here click the fonts bar and 
impact let's see impact is good and i'll keep this white and effect i'm showing you how to use this thing black to make it stand and i will reduce the space sorry space a bit and add space to the letters this is good this is good let's keep it like this and we'll move on that's how you change this on these things let's assume you want to change this image here i'll delete this image and i'll delete this one as well and i'll drag this and put it here all right so it's up to you and you can change stuff we partner with you to drive let's say crypto business growth something like this and reduce the test if you want and also stretch it a bit stuff like this and you can change anything the way you want scroll down anything at all on this page you can change it and all this you can link your social media i want to link to twitter click on it click on the menu and this is the link click on the link and drop your twitter this is my twitter account click on the profile then highlight ctrl c to copy go back paste it here click on done and done again later on when i publish it it's gonna be yeah that's how you change stuff last but not least we need to publish you click publish website and scroll down if you want to know see i'll show you how it looks like overview before i publish it when you scroll down you see it looks really nice and i will close it on mobile this is how it looks like on mobile version nice and simple then i'll close it once you've created a website already that website you created will be used as main subdomain the one i created before was the landing page it was tutorial dot my dot canva dot site this is canvas subdomain for free website design this is my subdomain and this new page i've created will serve as an extension to this main website but this website will not show up on the first one i'll leave it like this and i'll scroll down that's why i told you earlier on to name your website whatever you want it has picked it already if not you can click here and change it if you want to change the name right in this case i'm not gonna change it it. i'll keep it the way it is and i will click on if i want to add a custom domain to this i will click use custom domain i don't have a navigation bar so i'm not gonna include navigation scroll down we are using free website if you want to purchase a domain from canva you click here if you want to connect a domain like name cheap or go daddy you're gonna click here and connect it i'll close it this is not what i want to do when you close it you can tell it brings you back again i'll click Publish one more time. I thought of showing you, right? Click web publish website. Your website is published, so view it. As you can tell, this is the name I gave it. It's always good to connect custom domain name. This is how it looks. This is beautiful. You can't tell this was created by. You cannot differentiate this from any website builder designed with Canva because the, we are using the free version to create this. Yeah, so I'll show you the social media link to my Twitter. This is it when I have her and click on it. Bam, it brings me to Twitter. This is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for your time. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.